What's up, y'all? It's your girl Kia, and we kicking it today. I'm gonna do a. Oh wait, let me fix this. I'm gonna do a little vlog of a day in the life of like a girl boss, entrepreneur, you know, YouTuber, you know, everything that I do or whatever. Um, so or just what I do on a day to day basis. Yeah, my lips and hands are so dry. But yeah, let's get this. I'm almost home so we can put this car together. Okay, we at the office to get it. And let me show you how cute my damn car is with my little boxes on it. I'm honestly th thinking I'm going to need a, I'll, I'll need a bigger one like soon. But this car was literally only $30. I wish this lash would fall off my eyes. It irritated me. Um, but look how cute it is. But I'm gonna show you like the wigs that I do for the that I got to do for the month. I usually um like try to accept all my wigs for the month on like the first or like the first week or whatever the case may be. But I don't know, it really just varies from month to month. Sometimes I do every two weeks, so I'll accept more. It really just depends on how many wigs I have. But right now I have 10 wigs. I think that'll last me to the end of the month because um I'm trying to cut back on doing so much hair reviews and I'm trying to switch over to other content. So, I usually like to label like the day that I receive them because I usually try to get my wig videos done within a week. Um, but I'm just probably gonna finish. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna just do one wig a day until I'm done with these, and they all basically came in around the same time. So I'll just update the companies on that. Yeah, I'm gonna do get give you a quick little office tour. yeah this is the garbage i just bought this is the little card i just bought um i had packed some inventory in that so that's why that's here but yeah i did my glitter wall i actually got a video on how i did that i forgot about that um but yeah there's a little bit of my inventory i got more inventory on the floor sewing station makeup <laughs> oh, excuse me makeup beauty section i got like two ring lights in here i got a mannequin head my little um my hands are so dry but this is my little um what is it refrigerator and stuff yeah my keurig is i really got like it's like literally the perfect creative space for me we be in here all day because it's like literally perfect week she got her inventory in here because she does sell waist trainers let me get the logo in the back i think when i do still you know i get my house or whatever i'm gonna still keep this because it's just i don't know i like having somewhere to go I feel like working from home kind of kind of gets boring after a while, so it's really cute having a little spot to come and be productive in. So I'm think I'm about to sort through the inventory that I just got today. It's a small batch, and um, log it on my inventory sheet, and then I need to go get my planner from downstairs because I got to pay a couple bills. But this is literally like. I don't know how other influences and girl bosses are, but this is literally like my life. It's so fun, isn't it? I love it. So I'm packaging orders now. Um, I have everything separated um, by style and color and whatnot. So I look cute. Yeah, I'm gonna just show you my packaging process, I guess. Oh, wow. Oh, I'm I didn't fall, actually. Sorry about the lighting. So they got this person's order. They got a Bratty Girl track set, um, which is is actually not even a track set. I don't know why I call it that, but it's the like velour sets that we offer. I just get the packet. Sorry, let me get my thoughts. I get the package and I walk over to my shipping area. It's really just a tote. And I have all my like mailers in here. I actually need to re-up on these. And I get one of these. I take it out. I got some smaller ones and I got some bigger ones. I think this one should be pretty good for a variety track set. And then I put it in there. I try to squeeze as much air out as I can. cards it has a coupon code on it so let me get my ring light 
It has a coupon code on it, so I'm going to cover it. Then I put that in the bag. And then I'm not going to seal it yet because I'm going to package all the other orders that I have before um, I package it because I have to weigh it. But I like to package all of them first, weigh them, and then, you know, that's all. That's the fastest process. Okay, so I got these packages up. These are the ones that I literally just got. Um, so I'm gonna package these up. So if I do get any orders by the time I go home, I won't have to do any of the ones from today. Their information. So I use, um, it's called Shippo and it automatically, um, it automatically takes my orders from my website and transfers them here. So the only thing I have to do is weigh it, put the weight and the dimension of the poly mailer, mailer that I'm gonna use, and then it'll automatically calculate um, the shipping and I can print my own shipping label so I don't have to wait in line. I can just drop off the packages. This one, now this one's literally not that much, but I don't have any smaller um, poly mailers. I just put an order in for them and they won't be here until like two days from now. So I'm gonna take this. Um, Scale's a little dusty. You want to turn on the scale. I use a kitchen scale. Um, but you can order like shipping scales. They'll be a little bit bigger than this. And then I place it on there like such. Um, so this literally weighs 1.3 ounces. So once I put in the dimensions, um, the poly, the size of the poly mailer, the, the, the girl, the size of the poly mailer and how much it weighs, it automatically calculates this for me. And then once I'm ready, I can buy all of them and print them off at once. So now that I have all of my label, no, now that I have everything weighed and all of the, um, wait, girl, I've been in here too long. I'm like in a daze right now. No, um, I have all of the stuff weighed and the dimensions put in, I am going to just purchase all of my labels and I'm gonna print my labels out with my Rolo thermal lab label printer. I got this label printer from Amazon. Um, I would definitely recommend getting a label, I mean a thermal printer because you'll never have to change the ink. Um, the only thing you'll have to replace is the labels when you run out. So it's definitely a really good investment, especially if you are going to be shipping a lot of orders or you get a lot of orders or something like that i wouldn't recommend getting that before you know you're like still getting just a couple orders a week just because like it'll be cheaper for you to just go and write your own labels and take it to the post office so but i'll keep it and i'll link you to the um label printer in my description box <clears throat> and i also got a box of the 500 label things from Amazon and then I made I forgot to say where I made these I made these on Vistaprint and I got like a thousand of them for like thirty dollars they always have deals and stuff like that so so this is what it looks like when you purchase all your labels um the way I have it set up is they automatically gives the customer a email notification letting them know that their order has been processed and it's on their way to them um and then Next, I'm just going to download and print out the labels. So what I wanna do is I just need to connect my label printer. I wish it was Bluetooth, but I'm pretty sure they have Bluetooth ones. I wanna connect the label printer to the side of the computer. So here, like so. And then I only thing, the other thing I have to do is turn it on and add my labels. And you just wanna take the labels like this and then feed it through the back of the machine like this you want to make sure that the label is straight or your um label will print out like crooked and you don't want that you'll be wasting a lot of labels 
Okay, there we go. And then I'm just going to print. Make sure when you are printing that the paper size, let me show you. That the size of your label is four by six inches. And that's because that's the size of the labels. Now that I got my labels printed out, um, I'm just going to double check each order and stick the package label on and seal them up and then we're done. done i think i'm gonna be done for the day well i'm gonna go home and then plan out my day for tomorrow and oh no wait i still gotta drop a wig off <sighs> so we start off our day in neiman marcus we're looking for our dad a coat he comes home today don't ask where i mean don't ask from where <laughs> if you know you know yeah, no, it has a thing on it. So we're trying to see if he can fit this. He kind of big. He is. Not kind he of. He a big fella. But he not like fat. Nigga. He not like a B on in. Swole, is it B on in? Yeah, big old nigga. <laughs> he ain't one of those, but he like swole. swole. He just big. Like swollen in your head. Girl, shut up. So we're trying to find him a coat. We were supposed to get it for him for Christmas, but. We're here now. <laughs> <laughs> Look, <laughs> don't worry. Like that. That's not him. So we got the coat. I forgot to show them which coat it was. <laughs> you were so irritated. Ooh, oh, yeah, I got to smell that perfume. I want to smell Baccarat Rouge. Yeah, so it's, are these all the same? Like the one in the white box? Oh, wait. Uh -huh. So that's the old perfume. Right, right. So now the one is the red. Uh-huh. So we smelled, <laughs> we smelled the Baccarat. And I just feel like it was very average. Yeah. It's giving me very much the perfume I have at home. I'm not, and I'm not just saying the name because I can't tell anybody else. Kind of smelling good around. I'm dead. It just don't really smell like nothing. I thought it was gonna yeah. be like a different smell, but you know, it kind of remind me of a uh, Victoria's Secret teas. You ever smelled that before? I don't remember. I know. I it, I, well, we finna go in there now. I'm, I'm gonna show you because it definitely reminds me of that. I don't think it's worth the hype though. No, that's what I'm like. That's why when I smell it, I'm like, girl, I didn't smell this shit the several times. times. Okay. Yeah, for sure. What's up, y'all? It's been days later, but I just decided that I had to just walk to make it basically a week, a kind of a little bit. We'll be on our way to the office. It's super early. It's like 8 o'clock. I've been trying to get up early, earlier. Because usually I get up at like 10. I feel like my hair looks kind of cute, but I, car, please spare me. My hair looks kind of cute, but you always got to be like done up if you have colored hair. Like you can't just be regular like I'm regular. You can't just have like crusty lips or whatever. Like you got to be top notch bad bitch. That's the crap. Because if not, you're going to look like a ratchet hoochie mama. And that's what I feel like I look like. So she got to go. So we're in the office and it's time to get our orders together. I think I'm gonna need to use my computer to make this go by a lot faster. What I liked, I mean, I showed y'all how I did myself, but um, I definitely got a decent amount of orders that I need to package. So <sighs> I kind of want to do a time lapse. I've never done one of those before, but we'll figure it out. <laughs> Girl, we're almost done. And this is just from yesterday. Period. So I'm back in the office and I think I'm going to end the vlog here because I think it's kind of long. So thank you for watching. What else do you want to see? If you like videos like this, let me know. Shop my boutique. Everything on her is going to be in the description box down below and I'll see you on Instagram. <laughs> Bye.